All right, now that you have your playback engine selected, you'll go over here to tempo. There's a little red arrow right here. Double click it, and this is where you'll put in your BPM, which for the instrumental I'm gonna use is 140 BPM. You click OK, and that will set up your track correctly. All right, so to create a new track, you have two options. One option, you can go up to Track, click New, create one mono audio track, and you can name it here. So we'll name this um, Main underscore Vox for main vocals. Then you will click Create. Now you can create multiple tracks at a time, but I'm just trying to show you how to create one at a time. Now, there's another shortcut. You can click Command, Shift, N, and same thing. Instead of clicking Track, New, and all that, you can click Command, Shift, N, and create a new track, mono, stereo, whatever. You can create your aux track, um, your master fader, MIDI track, all that good stuff, but we'll name this one Dubs. Now, if you forget to name it when you create the track, you can always right click on the selected area, right click, rename, you can rename it there, and press OK, or you can double click same thing now before you get to recording you'll need a beat so the easiest way to import your beat are the shortcut keys which are command shift i and you will go to the location where your instrumental is located mine i saved on a desktop you click open And voila, there you have it. You have your instrumental. You bring, bring that to the top of your track. And you press space bar to play, space bar to stop. So, all right, now that you have your beat imported, and you have your audio track set up, now it's time to record. See you next video.